Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your mercies. Your goodness and to us forever. Your mercy and to us forever. Thank you for those who are tuning in from whichever part of the world you are in. Blessed be God. Blessed be the name of the Lord tonight. For the great night, worship us, intercess us, gatekeep us. You can rise up tonight in the name of Jesus that you may have a session of prayer as we dedicate the new month of September 2023 20, unto the Lord. I want to share a word, then get a time of prayer. In the name of Jesus, you can share with a friend. Welcome on board. In the name of Jesus, welcome on board as we share together. And may the Lord have his way tonight in the name of Jesus. Welcome a friend, welcome a friend that you, God, may come and have his way in the night. And also as we dedicate the new month in the name of Jesus. Welcome on board. Share with your friend that you may come together and have a time to hear the word of God. And dedicate the new month in the name of Jesus. God is good. He has been good to us. He has been gracious. He has been merciful. He has taken us to the last eight months of the year 2020. Despite the challenges, he still is God. He has fought our battles. He has aligned our destinies. Even in our darkest hour when nothing seems to be working, he is still at work. Be encouraged in the name of Jesus to rise up. We want to continue contending for your faith. To rise up and continue contending for your destiny. To rise up, continue uh, building that relationship with God. Don't allow the enemy cause you to slacken in the name of Jesus. Have your way tonight. Welcome, Holy Spirit of the Living God. I thank you for your grace and mercies. Thank you for your loving kindness and mercies. They are greater than life. Thank you, Lord. You have seen us through the last uh, few months of the year, the eight months now, we're in the nine months. Thank you for visiting us, oh God. Thank you for fighting our battles. Thank you for making a way where there seemed to be no way. <clears throat> we welcome you tonight for who you are. We welcome you tonight for your mercies. We welcome you tonight for your loving kindness. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness. Thank you, Lord, tonight. We welcome you. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, for heavens and the highest of the heavens belongs to you, but the earth you have given to men in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for giving us power and authority, dominion, even to rule over the face of the earth, the happenings, and to align and to program the heavenlies, the land, and the waters to decree things that they should become in the name of Jesus. We refuse to be silent tonight. We will trust in you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your loving kindness and your mercies in the name of Jesus. Welcome on board. Uh, my name is Pastor Isaac. Uh, share with a friend. Uh, share the video to other platforms. As you get time to share on this, the reasons why you should dedicate a month. Why should you rise up early tonight, this uh, midnight hour? and praise the lord and worship the lord and take up the gate uh the gate of the of the month and also the remaining quarter of the year 2022 2023 there is a reason i want us to share a few prayer points for you like seven reasons then we'll get and forget up and pray get and uh, be the next to the hours of prayer in the name of jesus yes in the name of jesus here with a friend as we get to delve into the seven, the seven reasons maybe I uh, maybe got it time to get to get a few of them so that we we will pray together in the name of Jesus. Let us pray together. And now we are back on this a short summonet uh uh to help you get into prayers in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you. You have already crossed over to the new month of september we thank you for it is you who have given us the grace the strength the protection and the masses it is you who has brought us this far by the power of your might blessed be your name tonight for this far we have come we acknowledge you as lord for this far we have come 
we acknowledge you as a king. For so this time you have come, this father you have come. Oh, we continue to say, not unto us, not unto us, O oh God, but your name be the glory for your loving kindness and mercies in the name of Jesus. As I share your word tonight, briefly, oh Lord, I pray for your presence of your Holy Spirit, even across the social platforms and networks, oh God, I pray that this word shall assist us and shall help us understand you and help us to fight our battles in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Welcome on board tonight. I want us to share a word. Uh, this word is what I felt uh, in my spirit to share on why we dedicate months. I want to give you like seven or so reasons why we dedicate months. Well, we need to understand that life is spiritual. And the Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 3. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 3 that we know that all these, these things that we see, the visible, was created out of the invisible. The visible was not created out of what is seen. It was created out of the invisible. And um, understanding that life is spiritual, we need to understand that everything else is spiritual. And in the spiritual realm, everything has a near to here. In the spiritual realm, everything can be commanded, can be aligned, can be moved, even a mountain, even the weather pattern can be spoken to in the name of Jesus. So tonight, as we share the word of God, this is my prayer and my cry for us that we understand this truth, that uh, life is spiritual and God is not uh, limited by the elements of the earth. God is not limited by what happens in the face of the earth. God is not affected. The Lord he is mighty. He is awesome. He is above all things. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 3, the Bible says, By faith we understand that the universe was formed at God's command. So that what is seen was not made out of what was visible. Very important to note that portion of scripture. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 3, message by, the message Bible says, By faith we see the world called into existence by God's word. What we see created by what don't uh, uh, what we see created by what we don't see. So what we see was created out of what we do not see. Therefore, we need to understand that the life is spiritual. What is seen was created out of what is not seen. Very important to note. And so it means that the world was called out by faith. The New Living Translation says, it is says New Living Translation of the same Hebrew 7 verse 3 that by faith we understand that the entire universe, the entire universe was formed at God's command. So that what is seen was not made out of what was visible. So what is seen was not made out of what is visible. It was created out of the visible. And the spiritual realm is not visible. The spiritual realm is not visible. It is in the invisible realm. But out of the invisible, you can speak it out and cause things that are visible to appear. And this is the essence of what I want to, sh to share tonight. Understanding the spiritual concept of man's. Understanding the spiritual concept of months, understanding that even times and seasons, the book of Job, the book of Daniel says that uh, times and seasons belong to God. It is God who commands times and seasons. In Genesis chapter 22, uh, uh, Genesis chapter 8 and verse 22, the Bible says, uh, and the Lord said that um, uh, as long as the earth endureth, seed time and harvest, winter and summer, Day and night, they shall never cease. That is that is that, that is the, the concept of uh, of seasons. That it is the Lord who set the seasons in place. He lured them into place. So times and seasons they belong to the Lord. Times and seasons are His. It is Him who sends times and seasons. He set them in place. But they were called out of nothing. They were not visible. They were released from the supernatural by the decree, by the word of the Lord. So 
we are going to share much on 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 you are you are part to pray in making declarations and making decrees into the spiritual atmosphere to bring forth what you want to see in this season in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, why do we dedicate months? Number one, the reason number one why we dedicate months is because if you don't dedicate, maybe we can start from where I, I, I have, uh, apart from where I've written my notes, I've said that one life is spiritual. That should be my number one. Understand that life is spiritual. We do not walk, we do not live by what we see. We live by from the unseen realm. Life is spiritual. And when you understand that life is spiritual, life is commanded from the spiritual realm. And the, the unknown, the unseen, the visible is born out of what is not seen. So what will happen and what should happen in the physical realm? Is, is a, 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 it starts. It's Genesis is in the spiritual realm. That's why when we are dedicating the remaining month of, of, of we, we are turned, you know, to September, October, November, December, the remaining part of the year has a spiritual aspect. Apart from the days that we count, there is a spiritual aspect. And when we understand, when you read the Bible, the Bible has a lot to say concerning this. Uh, and God is very particular with the, with the days and dates and months and years. That's what the Bible says. When the fullness of time came, uh, Christ was manifested in a certain year, in a certain month, in a certain season. In the, the Bible is very specific because God works within times and seasons because though he's not limited to time, we humans are limited when it comes to time. There are seasons we have to live within a, a stipulated season of time and fulfill destiny within that stipulated season of time. So God is very particular, even concerning the birth. That's why there, there had to be a sign between the birth of Jesus and the birth of John the Baptist. There had to be a sign of the two because they were aligned and they were to work in the, in the same season towards a, de a, a definite divine purpose. So life is spiritual. So when we dedicate the month, we, we, we are taking the month to its creator, the season to the owner, the, who, the one who said, let there be. And we are telling God, let thy will be done. There is what you ought to do in our season. There is, the, there, there, there is what you ought to fulfill in this season. Jesus said, for this reason, I was manifested. The son of man was manifested that he may put to not the works of the wicked one. Jesus says elsewhere, and he says that the reason why I came, I came for this very reason. Uh, he had a reason, there was a reason why Jesus came at that point in time, because it was the fullness of time for the manifestation, for the healing, for the deliverance, for the time to be, for the captives to be set free. It was time. And therefore, he had to appear. Now, we also in our generation, in our season, and in our day, there is what God wants to do. We need to work with this revelation that there is what God wants to do in our season. And even in this month of September, there is what God wants to do in this season. And so when we dedicate, commit, acknowledge, lift our eyes and lift this month to God, consciously and with the uh, uh, and uh, purposing it from my heart to dedicate this month to God, we are telling God, we need you this month. There's what you desire to do in this particular month. There's what you want to do from now to December. There, is, there, are, there are steps you want, maybe you want me to take. There's what you want to do in our nation. There's what you want to do in this ministry. There's what you want to do in this business. The remaining part of the, month, the year, as we dedicate this month, is because God there is what God wants to do, or God wants done. There is, there must be an alignment in that season for those so for God to do what He wants to do. There must be an alignment with the people with an understanding to fulfill, so that God may work. Because much as God would want to do so much in the face of the earth, there must be human cooperation. There must be human partnership. 
there must be human cooperation, there must be human partnership. And this partnership is not just for, for just an end Tom, Dick, and Harry. It is for people who understand times and seasons. That's why the Bible says the book of First Chronicles 12, that and the, the sons of Ishakar who understood the times and the seasons and what Israel ought to do. You know, may the Lord give you the understanding of the children of Ishakar so that when you pray, you don't bro, throw your bro into the air and uh, uh, do a trial and error. You will do what God wants you to do at that particular moment in time. So number one, it's for it's because life is spiritual and being spiritual, we need to align ourselves and also align the times. When Daniel understood the timing and the season of God, the book of Daniel chapter 9 and verse 2, that's why he set his heart into prayer, into fasting, because the time had come. Amen. Number two, if you don't dedicate your mind, they are what I would call the monarch watchmen also. We, are, we, we thank God the watchmen, the Bible talks of watchmen, especially the book of Ezekiel, talks of the watchman's anointing. People who watch at the times and the season and make decrees and do prophetic intercession. They are what also, if they are also their dark world, they are those who do what you call astrology. They are also the watchers of times. They look at what is happening. They are able to, using their body comings, they are able to to source information using their body uh, and spiritism. And they are able to extract what is happening or what should happen and try to manipulate the systems. They try to manipulate even kings and personalities so that what God wants to do will be aborted. In the book of... Uh, Isaiah chapter 47 and verse 12. Isaiah chapter 47 and verse 12, the Bible says, Keep on then with your magic spells and with your many sorceries, which you have revered at since childhood. Perhaps you will succeed, perhaps you will cause terror. Verse 13 or 47. All the counsel you have received has only worn you out. Let your astrologers come forward. Those targeters, those targeters who make predictions month after month. Listen to that. The astrologers, they, they and the stargazers, they do what? They make predictions month after month. Let us save you from what is coming upon you. Verse 14 says, Surely they are like stubble. The fire will burn them up. They cannot even save themselves from the power of the flame. Here are no cause to warm them anymore. Here is no fire to sit by. Verse 15 says, that is all they can do for you. This you have labored with and trafficked with since childhood. Each of you, the, each of them goes on in his era. There is, there, is, there is not one that can save you. This was a happening that was happening. Those are things that were happening in Israel and they happen even today. We have stargazers. We have uh, people who who do the observation of the of the movements of the of the or, 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 or the other planets and the stars and they can be able to deduce and let me tell you they are quite accurate in their in the, some of them are very accurate in what because they are able to manipulate and see what is happening in the spiritual realm and we see that yesterday in the book of Matthew when you see the uh, the the, the magi from the east those wise men they were able to look at the at, at the configurations and the planetary alignments, and they were able to deduce that the, when this star and this planet they are in such a location, it means one, two, three. Let me tell you, you 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 be in a great deception to to think that that is an old time thing. It happens even today. So, if you are not ready to predict your man and to prophesy to your man, they are the money coachmen. They look and see. They can see. In fact, one of the reasons why we have a lot of battles like in our day is because just like when Jesus was being born, Herod, the spirit of Herod, was able to detect that there is a king being born in my season. And, and the enemy had to manipulate things to happen so that this move may be aborted. 
Even now, we need to understand that what is happening in the nation and the nations of the world, the economic crisis, the troubles here and there, uh, well, with, uh, it may look like a, an economic crisis and a, 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 a depreciation of uh, vices and all that, the LGBTQ agenda and many things that are happening. But the, let me tell you the truth. The truth is, the enemy knows what needs to happen this and is trying to do this and to abort the prophetic agenda. But when we pray with understanding, like Daniel did in the book of Daniel chapter 9, we are going to, to counter what the enemy is doing. So yeah, we, 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 we pray and dedicate the month to snatch the month from the monthly prognosticators, those who make predictions day after day, who, who make predictions what should happen in a season. If you look at the book of Esther, we well, the test of time, we may not be able to, to read every scripture. But the Bible says before before Haman could execute his plan to disseminate, to destroy the children of Israel, he used to go to the witch, used to go to, to the uh, to the uh, and, and uh, to a certain altar, and the lot and the and the pool would be cast. I think it was a form of a witchcraft regard or something. And the says he went there day after day, week after week, month after month, until the favorable time was found. It's very interesting. And let me tell you when, when he went, when the time was 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 right and ripe, and he went to the king and gave his petition, the king just stamped it into row, and pap, the children of Israel were to be all to be killed. Monthly prognosticators, you can't, uh, you, you can't, you, you can't, uh, you, you can't down uh, pray the alone. Even today, these things are happening. Even today, these things are working. We need to counter uh, and pray against every demonic projection, programming, and schemes of the astrologers. Those who say that the, the, this and this will happen this season. We release also a sound into the atmosphere saying it will not happen. That is Isaiah chapter 7, verse 7. It will not happen. It will not come to pass. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Number three. It is because every man has its fruits. Every man. Just like in the natural. Like uh, we are in the month, we are in the month of August now, we are in the month of September. If you look at um, the market there is not a single time you will not see a certain fruit maybe a certain fruit will be more in the market than any other fruit but there's a time you say you find that a certain fruit is is not available uh, maybe it comes maybe it will be imported from another nation so also in the spirit it is also true all truths are parallel someone said all truths are parallel in the book of uh, Revelation chapter 22 Revelation chapter 22, verse 1 and verse 2, the Bible says, Then the angel showed me the river of water uh, of life as clear as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and the Lamb. Verse um, 2 of Revelation 22, it says, Down the middle of the great city of the city, on each side of the river stood the tree of life, bearing 12 crops. 12 crops, 12 crops of fruit, yielding its fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. So in that, what he saw, John the Revelator, what he saw, he saw that fruit tree that produced 12, 12 of them, 12 of fruits, a fruit, 12 of crops of fruits, Yielding its fruit every month. Let me tell you, there is what there is the fruit for this month of September. How do you receive that fruit? You receive it by claiming it. You need to pray. You, the Bible says, uh, 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 "Give us this day our daily bread, and give us our trespasses, as we forgive those trespasses against us." There is a fruit for every month. Claim the fruit for the month of September. Claim the bread 
claim the provision, claim it, because much as God has promised until uh, the Bible says we don't have because we don't ask. We need to ask for the fruit of the month of September, October, November, December, in Jesus' name. May you never not miss out the fruit for this season in Jesus' name. Number four. There is another reason why we will dedicate a month or a season. is because every day has its own trouble of its own. Every day the Bible says in the book of Matthew 6 and verse 34. Rather than worry on what is happening or what is not happening. Uh, the Bible says Matthew 6, 34. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow we roll about itself. Each day, each day has enough trouble of its own. That's a very important scripture. Every day has its own trouble. Do not be deceived that this month that will not have trouble. Trouble will surely come. But when we pray, the Bible says in the book of I think it should be Psalms 34. The Bible says, Let he who is godly seek the Lord while he may be found. And when the mighty water rises, when the mighty waters rise, they will not get to him. Amen. The reason why we pray and dedicate the money is because we are not okay anticipating it, but even if it does, the Bible says we seek him where he may be found. And where the mighty, because waters will rise, earthquakes will happen, economic crisis will happen, challenges may happen, things, temptations will come. But the Bible says when the mighty water rises, when the mighty water rises, they will not get to the righteous one. Hallelujah. Let you know. I pray that God exempts you through the liberation, that God exempts you from the trouble of the season. And when the might, even when the mighty water rises, even, even when those water, mighty water rises, the Lord shall deliver you from the same. Ah, the Lord shall fight that battle. The Lord shall help you to overcome. Whatever the enemy may try to plant, scheme and plant uh, 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 to frustrate you, may the Lord give you, may the Lord give you the strength, the grace to stand the test of time in the name of Jesus. That is Psalms chapter 32 and verse 6. Psalms chapter 32 and verse 6. The Bible says, Let everyone who is godly pray to thee in a time that you may be found. Surely, in a flood of in a, in, in a flood of great waters, they shall not reach him. Amen. Let me check another version. I check another version. The same uh, 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 Psalms chapter thirty-two, uh, Psalms chapter thirty-two and verse six. I'll read several scriptures uh, for you to understand for us to understand better. Psalms thirty-two and verse six. The Bible says, um, the Message Bible, these things add up. These things, they do add up indeed. Any one of us needs to pray. When all hell breaks loose, when all hell breaks loose, and the dam past will be on high ground untouched. Oh, may that be a portion this month and the remaining of uh, uh, four months of the year, the last quarter of the year, when the water rises, will be you, may you be on a high ground, and may you be untouched. King James version, the same Psalms thirty-two and verse six. The Bible says, "For this shall for this shall everyone that is God pray unto thee in a time when you mayest be found. Surely in the floods of great waters, they shall not come nigh to you; they shall not come near to you." Let me check another version, amplified version. For this, let everyone who is godly pray. Pray to you in a time when you may be found. Surely, when the great waters of trial overflow, they shall not reach the spirit in him. That is an amplified version of Psalms 32 and verse, the verse 6. So the reason why we pray is that every season has its own troubles. Every season, even the remaining quarter of this year, it will have its own challenges and battles. But let us pray when God may be found, and when that trouble comes up, we shall be on high, safe, and unharmed in Jesus' name. That is my prayer for us tonight in Jesus' name. 
number five. The reason why we make uh, 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 two uh, medications of a month is because we need to be the prophets of our destiny. Psalms chapter 45, verse 1, read several scriptures there. Psalms chapter 45, the Bible says, My heart is stirred up by a noble thing. As I recite, my verses for the king. My tongue is the pen of a skillful writer. You are the most excellent of, excellent of men, and your lips have been anointed with grace, since God has blessed you forever. Curled your sword upon your side. O oh, mighty one, clothe yourself with splendor and majesty. In your majesty ride forth victoriously. In behalf of truth, humility, and righteousness, let your right hand display awesome deeds. Let your heart, let your sharp arrows pierce. Let your sharp arrows pierce the heart of the king's enemies. Let the nations fall beneath your feet. Your throne, O oh God, will last forever and ever. A scepter of justice will be the scepter of your kingdom. Now, this scripture talks over us taking our tongues, using it as a pen of a skillful writer, and draw, and craft, and paint, and shaping our mind by our decrees, by decreeing what we want to see, by not saying what we are seeing, but saying what we want to see. When you prophesy, I started with the scripture in the book of uh, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 3, and I say that we know that the visible, the tangible, the, the, what we see was created, not out of what is seen, it was spoken into the atmosphere. It was spoken, it came to pass. And the Bible says the book of Job chapter 22 and verse 22, 22 verse 22, it says, you shall decree a thing and it shall be established for you. 22, 28 of Job, you shall decree a thing and it shall be established for you. And right will shine all your ways. Aha. When you, you are cast down, you will speak with confidence and humble person will save. I like the other version that says that when men say there is a casting down, you shall say there is a lifting up. And the Lord shall deliver even the, the island of the innocent. They shall be delivered through the cleanliness of your hands. So we speak what you want to see. We speak to the atmosphere because if you don't speak, someone will speak, he will prophesy, he will, he will paint. Don't allow anybody to take your brush, uh, take your pen, take your paint brush and paint your mouth. Paint September, paint October, uh, paint uh, November, paint December. Decree what you want to see. Say against all odds, against no matter what is happening, I decree it shall be well with me. My path can only shine brighter. Um, as my path can only shine brighter, I go from glory to glory till I appear in Zion, in Jesus' name. Number six, it's correlated with number five, is that we do that to counter evil dedications, evil decrees, and evil prophetic actions. Evil dedications, evil decrees, evil prophetic actions. What's a prophetic actions? It is something that is done, a deed, uh, 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 just uh, an action representing something, somebody uh, for a certain purpose. That this has been done because we desire to see this end. It's like when Elisha he just took a, 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 a new a new vessel and salt, put it into the water in Jericho, and pop the water got healed. The prophetic action. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 22, verse 28 to 30, when uh, uh, Jehoiachin was being prophesied against by Jeremiah, the Bible says, is this man Jehoiachin, Jeremiah 22, 28, is this man Jehoiachin a despised broken pot, an object no one wants? Why will he, will he and his student be hurled uh, out and cast into the land where they do not know? Verse 29, very interesting. O land, Lord, hear ye the word of the Lord. 
record this man as if childless, a man who will not prosper his lifetime, for none of his offspring will prosper, none will sit on the throne of David or rule anymore in Judah. That the Lord was spoken unto by the man of God. So Lord can be spoken unto. The reason why we also decree things in the special realm is to counter those decrees and those prophetic actions in the name of Jesus. Don't get silent. The Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Number six or number seven. It should be number seven. Number seven, the reason why we dedicate a month is to stop evil carry over us. Uh, carrying over what should should belong to the last season. And it comes now to this other season. Let me use this example. The Bible says in the book of Genesis that the children of Israel were supposed to stay in, in, in Egypt for 400 years. But there was another 30 years because of uh, many reasons maybe that we cannot discuss now. They, they were still with that years. That was a carryover. It was a carryover. It was not supposed to happen. We had the key this season that whatever the, the enemy has been trying to carry over from 2022 into 2023, uh, carrying over from February to March, March to April, April to May, May to June, June to July, uh, July to August. Now he wants to cross it over. Uh, he wants us to carry over that which was in the month of July that is not supposed to be there and be carried over into this month. We need to pray and declare, I'm crossing over without any carryovers. In the name of Jesus, may you cross over to this season without a carryover from the last season. That which belongs to the other season. Could not have met with people who are who are perpetually, every time they're giving you their testimony, they tell you they are in the wilderness. Let me tell you, there is a season, I agree. There is a season you are supposed to be in the wilderness. But you cannot perpetually be in a wilderness. So some of these are products of the enemy trying to uh, to impose on you a carry over of what you should have was you you are done with the last season. May the Lord help you to fight this battle that you will cross over with no carry over in Jesus' name. That's why the Bible says in the book of um, Exodus chapter fourteen and verse twenty six. Exodus chapter 14 and verse 26. This is what the Lord said to Moses. Stretch out your hand over the sea so that the waters may throw back over the Egyptians and their chariots and horsemen. Moses stretched all out his hand over the sea and at daybreak the sea went back to its place. The Egyptians were fleeing towards it and the Lord swept them into the sea. The water flowed back and covered the chariots and horsemen, the entire army. Ah, the entire army of Pharaoh that had followed the Israelites into the sea, not one of them survived. I pray that by revelation and understanding, may everything the enemy wants you to carry over, may it be swept away by the reason of the word of God. Any crusade, any army, any stubborn pursuers pursuing you into this season of your life, when you should be enjoying the fruit of your home, when you should be enjoying your ministry, when you should be enjoying your marriage, when you should be working, may every carryover be swept away in the name of Jesus. And the Bible says in the Exodus chapter 14, verse 30, that that day the Lord saved Israel from the hands of the Egyptians, and Israel saw Egypt lying dead on the shore. May that be a portion in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Finally, this should be number eight now. The reason why you should uh, intercede at the gate of time, intercede and dedicate a month like this new month we are getting to now in this month of September. The reason why we should pray is because there is divine visitation through expectation. You, you, you can't live without an expectation and without a desire to see something happen and expect that uh, this will just pop up. God works through desire. You must desire. You must desire. And you know, when you desire, you pray. The Bible says in the book of uh, Proverbs chapter 23 and verse 18, Proverbs 23 and verse 18, that there is surely a future and hope for you. And your hope or your expectation shall not be cut off. 
Be expectant this year. Be expectant this month of September. Be expectant for the last this, this quarter of the year 2023. Tell the Lord, I'm expectant. Uh, the psalm is in the book of Psalm chapter 5. Psalms chapter 5 and verse 3. He says, in the morning, thank God it's an early morning now. In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my request before you and wait in expectation. Wait, pray and wait in expectation. Tell the Lord, I may have been jobless for the last three years. Maybe the last contact I got was two years ago and things don't seem to work. In. Let me tell you, if you kill hope in your life, you, 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 you will live a life of desperation and you never get anywhere because the enemy would want you to be frustrated and get to a place of prayerlessness. May you not give up in the place of prayer because God will surely visit you. And the Bible says there is surely a hope for you. And this is what I declare to you tonight. There is a hope for you. For you among the living. Ecclesiastes, the Bible says, there is hope for those who are among the living. There is hope. Uh, for the living have hope. And, but the, the, for the dead, know nothing. But the living know there is a future for them. Let me tell you, so long as you are not dead, you are not in the six feet under, you are not in a cold room, there is hope for you. Live with an expectation. We decree tonight that this is a new month. And this month, I'm, I'm expectant. I'm expectant from you. I'm expecting from you. Oh, Mwadishu Azaburi and Asema, as as the watchman waited for the morning, so do my eyes wait upon you. As, as, the, as the husband waited for, from the hands of her master or mistress, so do my, do my heart expect and wait upon you. That is the attitude. That's why when you dedicate a new man, we are telling you, God, I know there is a hope for me and my expectation will not be cut off. I pray for you. I want us to engage the next few minutes in prayers or you can get even from our uh, event here moving forward, you can get um, one more hour in prayer, or maybe this last, this watch, uh, maybe from midnight to three or three to whatever time, maybe three to six. Get time and pray. Take time and fast. Next week, we have the prayer festival and the prayer uh, and, and also the, the word festival. Pray that God, you expect God to visit you, minister to you, even through that word festival. Pray for that next week, that God, whoever shall stand in the altar, let's pray for the servant of God, Apostle John Kibad William, the church without walls, MBCI, that God will use every minister to release a word in season, a word of deliverance, a word that to bring revelation, a word to transform lives of men in the name of Jesus. I want us to pray that God, you know that whatsoever we see was taken out of what I, or is, uh, was not seen. It was by the eyes of the word of God, by the decree of the Almighty, and what we see came to pass. And now God has given us power and authority to speak, to decree a thing, and it, be, it shall be established. I pray for you this month, as we dedicate this month of September, Lord, we commit it unto you. And we pray, Lord, let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. What your purpose concerning me, concerning my family, concerning my children, concerning this ministry, concerning the, the, this nation, concerning our extended family. Let it come to pass. Lord, let every demonic agenda give them, Lord, what shall you give them? Whoops that miscarry and bless that have no milk. Any agenda, any conception that is not of God, any scheme of the enemy, let it be aborted. Let them be frustrated in the name of Jesus. Father, we claim it for the fruit of the month of September, the fruit for the month of October, November, and December. Lord, may you crown this year with your goodness. In the name of Jesus, we claim that which is called by our names. May your benefactors locate your address, locate your phone, locate you where you are, locate that bank account. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Even as we have studied that every day, every month has its own troubles. Lord, let everything that has been planned and schemed and programmed, just like in the days of Esther, when the enemy had planned against the children of Israel to kill them. But by a three-day prayer and fasting uh, by Esther, Mordecai, and the Israelites, 
it was aborted. Lord, we pray. We are not ignorant of the devil's schemes. We know there are troubles that the enemy would want to bring our way this month. But I pray, let you frustrate the token of the wicked so that their hands achieve no success. Let not the enemies prevail against us in the name of Jesus. Also, we have learned that if we need to prophesy that our tongues should be pens of skill writers, we should decree things and they should happen. In the name of Jesus, decree a new beginning, decree a visitation, decree life, decree favor, decree salvation, decree deliverance, decree restoration. This is what I declare over your life tonight. In the name of Jesus, Lord, you also declare that we are crossing over with no carry over. Sir. Every stubborn pursuer of my destiny, of my calling, let him be frustrated. Let them come to naught. In the name of Jesus, let you God arise and drown the forces of Pharaoh that have been pursuing even our nation. Let not the enemy prevail over our lives in the name of Jesus. And finally, Lord, we thank you because you work with expectations of God. The Bible says you meet with the desires of our hearts. Lord, we know this. there are divine visitations when there is an expectation. Your word says that surely there is a hope and there is a future and our expectation shall not be cut off. I decree that my expectation shall not be cut off. I decree that your expectation shall not be cut off. That dream, that vision, we will, we will see they will see life. It will see the light of day. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you that even every morning, you will never be discouraged to wake up and pray. Because the psalmist says the book of Psalms, chapter 5 and verse 3, that, O oh Lord, every morning you will hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my request before you and wait in expectation. Father, this morning, lay our, our prayers unto you, and we expect from you, Jehovah God. Surely, as you are, let goodness and mercy follow us every day of this month of September, and let her help us to dwell in the house of the Lord. All the days of our lives. Father, we pray that the evil one shall not be able to monitor us. Lord, I pray that tonight uh, that let your blood encrypt us uh, with a decryptable, decryptable of God password. In the name of Jesus, let what God has ordained for our lives, uh, let it not be accessed by the enemy. In the name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. I pray for my viewers and my listeners, oh God, that you may remember mercy. Remember those who are sick. May you come and heal. May you come and deliver. May you come and save. Open doors of favor, finances, business opening, opportunities in places of work, oh God. In the name of Jesus, some expect to be enrolled in a certain institution. And they, 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 they don't seem to have any chance, but your God, the defender of the weak, open those doors for our sons and daughters. Open doors for them in the name of Jesus Christ. Establish, oh God, your people, even in this season. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you in the name of Jesus. Tonight, we thank you and we bless you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Tonight, as we come to the end, this is my prayer. Be encouraged to continue in praying. This month, let it be the best month ever. May you find the grace even to continue pursuing and pushing to the peak of your destiny. May not the enemy prevail against you, to preach against you, to to talk you out of your victory. Let not the enemy prevail over your life in the name of Jesus. Stay focused, stay tuned, fix your gaze right ahead, and surely you will get to the peak of your destiny. May the Lord bless you tonight. May the Lord keep you. May his hand be upon you. May he, may he write up your path this month in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, that's my prayer. Uh, after he, after this, this session, we're getting to a order of prayer tonight. And this is the half Kesha. Get time to pray. This is my prayer and my encouragement in the area of prayer. Get to pray. Get to know God more. Help us to know God more this month. Help us to study the word of God. Even as we get to the prayer festival next week and, and also the, the, the prayer and word festival, I pray that that spirit of prayer, that spirit of uh, 
reading the word of God shall come upon you and you shall not be silenced. Every day you shall have a word to silence the enemy and the enemy shall not be able to overtake you. Jesus overcame by the reason of the word. He said, he said it is written. May the Lord grant you the grace. I pray and wish for you the best month, month of September. May the Lord go ahead of you. Be tuning in. Uh, I'll be going on, uh, 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 on air. We, we always do uh, between 8.30 and uh, 9.30 p.m. East African time. But also, um, there is a plan. I also have something you need to do between even uh, off peak, uh, sometimes uh, uh, not the sun, it's that like now it's midnight. There is some a program that is underway. Uh, just link that, uh, 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 click on that bell when I go live, you'll be informed. I have a lot of things to share. God has graced me this area, and I know that. As we continue, we continue growing the, the knowledge of the Word of God. We continue understanding the Word of God, and our lives will shine and get better in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Have a good night, uh, Pastor Isaac here, King of Seekers Worship Pandora. You can visit with us uh, anytime. You can uh, 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 check on uh, on our, on, uh, on the WhatsApp, Facebook, YouTube. We have we give directions, and may the Lord keep you. This is my prayer for you. May the Lord go ahead of you. May you experience the best man. And as us as, as, as sing other songs, may you sing a songs of victory. The Bible says, you surround us with, 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 with songs of victory. May the Lord surround you with many victories. May you sing songs of praise and honor. When others are singing other songs, if you never sing the songs of the wicked and the songs of defeat in Jesus' name. God bless you. I pray that you continue praying it is uh, a few minutes past midnight. Continue in prayers. And I know as you take the gates of the man, you shall be sure to have victory the rest of the month. God bless you and keep you. Have a blessed night. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 God bless you so much uh, for watching. Thank you for following. Keep, uh, keep in touch, have a question, inbox, any, any interaction, you can DM me, we will keep in touch. God bless you so much. Shalom. Amen. Amen.